What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Witcher 3, Hearts of Stone. We're here with Geralt, and we're in Velen. We are over by the Temple of Lilvani. We need to meet Old Geard and Master Mirror at this temple. Though it kind of looks like it's possibly in this cave, or maybe we go through this cave. Like I was saying, I believe it's in them ruins area that was back by the monster nest over here. There was like an arena-looking thing that we seen way a very long time ago, but... I'm thinking that that might be where it's at. Let's look at the glossary and make sure we are completely up to speed with everything. We have nothing on characters, nothing on bestiary. And then just meet Old Gear at the Temple of Lil Vani. Having completed all of Old Gear Von Everick's wishes, Geralt went to the Alchemy Inn where he was to meet with the Adamin's representative. The motherfucking fly soup guy. With Shani's help, Geralt managed to enter the academy grounds and speak to Professor Shakeslog, who had earlier helped Old Geard in his attempt to break the pack with Master Mirror. The professor revealed that Odim could be cheated. One needed only propose a wager, and as a gambler, he was to agree to take one up on it. All right, well, what do you say we trick the trickster? Is that what's going on here? Because Odim seems to be the ultimate trickster here, friends. And if we're going to trick the trickster, then... Good luck with that? Well... Yeah, we're just going to go right in the cave here. Alright. They really just got us going through the cave? Because I don't think we can get around to... But it's telling us to... Look, it's telling us to go out now. Now it's over here. But it's telling us to go out. Now it's telling us to go in. Let's just go in the fucking cave. We'll go in the cave and see... Whoa. You hear Odim's music playing? They're serious. They're not even playing Velen's music. When I, when I fast traveled over to this place, there was a shit ton of Devourers and it didn't even play any battle music. It was still Odim's music. That's how serious the situation is going on here. I feel like I wish we could have warned Old Geard, but if you think about it, I think Old Geard is probably... We're not going the right way now. Or are we? What the hell? This has to be. Oh, I thought we just fell down a massive hole. See, because this is like... This is taking us... This is interesting because that would take us up, but I believe... Yeah, this is the way over to the other way. Oh. Turn that light off. Maybe this is the way to the other way. Yeah, I knew it was going to be over in this ruin area. I had a feeling that was what it was telling us to go to. It looks like an arena, remember? There was like a broken architecture out here. I feel like we should be doing this at nighttime. Mate, oh, this definitely is the area. Oh, dim. Oh, nighttime anyway. Sometime later. We ready for this? Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. Just catering to your love of the arts? Not my choice? This place is as good as any? Well, it's not really our choice, old Geard. I wish I could warn you what the hell is probably gonna go on here. Wasn't me who chose it. I assumed so. But since we're here... I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt Market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? Yeah, she's dead. Iris didn't want to exist anymore. The rose is a symbol of your parting of punishment? It was a token of her love for you? 
What the hell we say here? Iris didn't want to exist anymore? It was a token of her love for you. Do you think she loved her loved him anymore? I think she did. She had to. Because she would have never said she would have never said you're not him. Remember when she was when she seen Geralt, she thought she was thinking that it was old gear trying to get to her? I think think she loved you. Meant this as a token of that love. She loved me. After all that's passed. Iris. What a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What? What's happening? I feel as though... As though... A hot iron's pierced my chest. <gasps> Sorry to have kept you waiting. <laughs> My goodness. Fucking show off. So glad to see everyone's made it. How do you feel, Von Everick? A little less troubled? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you've fulfilled three wishes, and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know? What? No. We... We had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you, you fulfilled. Horse. You cheated me. I never cheat. Help all gear, don't get involved. Um, yeah, we should help him, huh? Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all gears. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. See me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. Oh shit, Geralt, what the hell did you do, man? Oh no. What's going on, man? We could have just walked away. I couldn't walk away. Uh, I couldn't do it. What's happening? You wish to play. So let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. Oh, shit. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? The riddle. Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I shall grin. 
What was that supposed to be? Can you repeat? You it? tell me. What am I? Repeat the riddle? Yeah, please, one more time. Didn't quite catch the riddle. Mind repeating it? To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I too shall grin. Um... Sure. You're going down. We shall see, my friend. What am I? You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Wait, what? Ready? Oh. Let's begin. It's time? Oh, well, this is where he is? Find a solution to Master Mirror's riddle? What is this place? Oh, shit. <laughs> you like it? Plenty more where it came from. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. Are you in whatever this is? Oh damn, you son of a bitch. Spectre! We should probably run past this shit. Maybe? It has Monsters to be something. weren't part of the deal. My world, my rules. It's got to be something. Fuck, oh, is there a map? Oh, there's no map. Son of a bitch. Let's go this way, I think. It's got to be something somebody can get into because children rejoice in me. Is that what he says? Don't leave me here. Help me. What's that? What was that? Oh, Shawnee. Is this Shawnee? Shawnee. Shawnee, hang on, I'm coming. You son. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Damn it. We're timed here, friends. Where the fuck are we? I don't think we're going the right way. Maybe we are. Let's go this way. I'm just running. This seems to be... Whoa. What is this? Holy shit! Oh, there's a house back there. Friends, this is not going good. Come on, Geralt, kill him. Come on, you mother effer. Oh, fuck. What the hell is this? Oh, dim. Is, is he hiding? Find the solution to Master Mirror's riddle? What is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they see one? Viper, venomous sword, silver sword. Through howling winds, pouring rain, with their life hanging by a thread. Which reminds me, time is running out. Damn it. Well, we got the sword. We have to get... I think we gotta go to the house. In the distance, you see it? But we have so... We don't have that much time. Damn it. I'm kind of running around in circles here. Wait, can we go over this bridge? Oh, this is intense, man. Time stuff is so intense. It has to be that fucking house. 
Let's just run to the house. We are running out of fucking time. There's a... Let's go past that. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Let's see what it is, because it might be it. A cave? In a cave? Look at all this fucking... We're running out of time, and I'm over here. Unable to resist a few shiny coins. <laughs> I truly expected more of you. Come on, Odim. Especially since time is short. Yeah, time is short. Come on, come on, come on. We have to roll. Leave everything here. Or not. <laughs> We're so screwed, man. We're running out of time. I don't even know if this is the right way. There's the house, though. Oh, awful. Oh. You're doing terribly. Remember, you can always give up. As I'm running. I see it, you will never find me. Never. I don't think we will. I'm running past it. I don't think we're going to find him. Oh, shit. Mirror. Mirror? So this is where you're hiding. In a mirror? No, I know, I know. <laughs> Shit. Calm down. You didn't expect it to be that easy, did you? I get it, I get it, I know what it is. It's fucking water. Remember what the dog said to us? Children rejoice in me, elders are scared. It has to be water. But where would there be fucking water? So you say, yet I oh. wait and wait. There's a fountain. And nothing. Is that it, though? Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> Point for me. Gotta be some mirror here you won't shatter. <laughs> <laughs> Seek and ye shall find. Damn it. Perhaps. Mm. Wonder how there you was. shatter a sheet of water. There you go. There was water here once. Maybe there's a way to bring it back. Fuck. Oh, here we go. There's something. Rushing water behind this wall. Come on, come on, come on. Down the wall and the water will rush through here. Did we do it? Speaking of demonic, we just defeated the fucking demon. That was so crazy. My heart is pumping here, man. We stopped and looted trinkets. <laughs> so, any better? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. You know what, though? It's good at last to taste something real. <sighs> so, have at it. Tell me what the blazes just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign? We whooped Odim's ass. The dog, friends. The dog... Giving Iris the, uh, the rose and releasing, releasing them and them telling me about the water. That was it. It was really water. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, to me, that felt like the only thing possible that is unbreakable mirror is water. Because you can, meet, you can see your reflection in water. I was thinking on it for just so long, like, trying to wrap my head around what that dog was saying. 
And that's exactly what it was. And going through here, I'm like, what the hell could it be? I'm thinking like... Parts of me felt like a house. You know what I mean? But then, like, the whole things that, like, there was points in the riddle that was just rough. And the main point that I was trying to think of was the children, the children rejoice in me. So it had to be something that you could get into. And it, you know, the cave, we can get into a cave. You'd really think children are going to rejoice in a cave. And then the house, that could have been it. But there had to be something more. And then just the, the thing with the water came up. But wow. We really bested him at his own game. Good job, man. That was that was intense. Why don't you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. First off, you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone. <sighs> it's wonderful at the start. You feel no fear, no angst, but also no concern, no care for anyone, not even those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. What about your senses? Taste, smell? All there. At first, I savoured the world like never before. It was stronger, more clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand, and have my fortune restored, and then to live like there was no tomorrow. And thus I lived until... until I ceased to feel anything at all. What a joy to be done with it! Because I am done, right? Will you tell me what happened? We won, that's all that matters. Mira dragged me into a game. Yeah, he dragged me into a game, for sure. What's gonna happen with him now? Live out the rest of his life until he actually dies now? Odim decided to have some fun at my expense. Devised a game I was supposed to lose. Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through. In doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so... I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. Hmm. Well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything. Everything I loved. All I held dear. Could start over. Not true. Got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I have a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness and defeat. My life is a ruin. Don't worry, it'll work out. True, I don't envy you. Don't worry, it'll work out. Maybe. I have a feeling he doesn't want to live anymore, though. You've handled tougher situations. You'll figure this one out. Got a company of faithful comrades waiting. Got a home, your fortune. No. I cannot live as I did before. So what'll you do? I don't know. But one thing's clear. It's time I took fate into my own hands. Lived life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. Oh, hell yeah. Can't accept this. You can. And must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Ow! Sorry.
You needn't be. I thank you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too. Whoa, that was really cool, man. Thank you for the sword. Oh, that was it. Wow, what a great expansion. Oh, it makes my heart hurt because I know it's all getting closer to the end, friends. Of like all the Witcher. But wow, what an awesome fucking DLC. I mean, there was a lot of talk of these DLCs being better than the base game, but wow, that was really awesome. It was a good story. I'm wondering if Odim is actually really dead. You think we banished him for good? Though I doubt it. You think you think there's anything after the cutscenes? Let's see. Oh, well I guess not. Gonter Odim, Olgir von Everick. That was really good and so dark. Did like I was it was so intense going through that little because time time stuff is so rough to deal with. But I couldn't even compliment on the amazing things that was actually going on. Did you hear the music in there? It was so creepy and so good. Wow. I just want to, like, redo it. Just to take in the atmosphere again. But obviously I'm not going to. But I'm saying, wow, I just... That was it, friends. Look, we have one more freaking quest to do. And obviously, next episode, we will go towards a notice board in Velen and finally pick something up. I'm thinking we should go over to, there was a place that we were supposed to avoid. It was like, man, it was something to do with the DLC. I'm not sure where, but we'll just go over to, it doesn't really matter. It's just got us going anywhere. So what's a good place to go to? Seven Cats, should we go back to the Seven Cats Fort? Moldavane? The end of the crossroads. Let's go to the end of the crossroads. We'll go there. We'll start there next episode and pick up the thing because that was like the first place we went to. It was like sentimental, you know? But this DLC, man. Wow. It was so dark and so mysterious from the fucking beginning. I had so many theories in my head this whole time and I was just trying to like come up with stuff and what the hell Odin was. I really was banking on the genie situation. I thought he was a genie, but he was really demon, devil, whatever the hell he was. The whole end there, he was like laughing at Geralt that Geralt actually won. I don't think he's dead. I just don't. I think he's banished, but I think he's going to come back. He may come back. What if he came back in the next DLC? Oh my god. Or what if you did this beforehand, before ending the game, and he actually came back at some point? That would be so wild. And this game has so many little tiny details in it that I guarantee we'll hear something else on Master Mirror. I just have a feeling, but what a great DLC, man. It's just, this game just doesn't ever, it doesn't ever stop. So Odim came up with something and Ogier came up with something. What is Ogier going to do now? Let's go live a normal life then. Let's do Gonter first. Man, I wish we just had more time with him. I would have loved to have heard more on Mira. I just wish we had a little bit more time with Mira in this DLC itself because he was such an interesting character. Ogier was a really great character. But I think Odim was, the writing of Odim was really fucking amazing. He was a great, let's just call him a villain. Yeah, he was a great villain. He was more mysterious than the Wild Hunt, I think. <laughs> and that's crazy, because the Wild Hunt was in the whole base game, and Odim was it's in a short DLC, but you, man, you're something else. Carol soon discovered Professor Shakeslock's words were true. Master Mirror could indeed be defeated at his own game. Geralt made a bet with him, wagering everything on one battle of wits and one. By solving Master Mirror's riddle, he drove the demon from our dimension, though I fear he may yet return, his kind always returns. So maybe they're banished for so long and then they come back. Wow, man. Get out. How do you kill a demon, though? Is it possible to kill a demon for good? He's banished from our dimension, though. Get out of town. So, Olgird. Friends, I can't believe it's over so soon. Crazy.
Now that The Witcher was on the verge of bringing the pact between Old Gear and Master Mirror to completion, did this mean everything would soon be as it once was? Geralt was not so sure. One question kept nagging him. What was the something very personal Gontor Odim intended to collect from Old Gear? His soul. He wanted his soul, of course. Once Geralt realized Master Mirror was playing for the highest of stakes, Old Gear von Everick's soul, he decided he could not sit idly by. Instead, he found a way to cheat the demonic being and win Old Gear back his soul. Free from his pact and his heart restored, Ogier thanked Geralt and gave him his sword, a souvenir which had been in his family for generations, then walked off into the sunset. Well, it didn't say that he died. Oh, it's got runes in it. It's called Iris. Wow, man. Get out. How good is it compared to this one? Oh, it's a lot better. It doesn't, it doesn't have any stuff on it like this one. But that's fine. Weapon charges with energy during combat. When its color changes to red, a strong attack will release this energy in an extra powerful strike at the cost of part of the attacker's vitality. Oh. It takes a little bit of our vitality away. I wonder if that's going to be good then. Because, um... We really strive ourselves in being at 100% health here for the decoction that we have, but also for the weapon enchantment, which is, oh, but this one, okay, so never mind. This will be severance because it's steel. Wow, friends, what a fucking DLC, man. What a freaking DLC. We need to go put some runes in that. I want to pull it out, though. Hold on, let's pull it out. Look at Geralt wheeling and dealing. Let's talk about the DLC though. Let's discuss some things. I think the... I want to say my favorite mission was probably the Iris mission. That one really... The mansion was really amazing. Iris was such a great character. She was such a good woman. Well, she was... It was very short. It was tiny. But she will leave an impact on me because of the ordeal she went through. She was... I don't know. I just really liked Iris a lot. I felt so bad for her. I wanted to do good for her. Good by her. I wanted to release her spirit somehow. And we did. Which was good. But I'll always remember Iris. I remember at the end Geralt said, I'll remember you, Iris. And she said, it doesn't matter. And I said, to me, it matters. Well, it does matter because I'm always going to remember Iris. She was... I don't know. It's just something about her character that I really liked and I wish she just deserved better. And I wonder what's going to happen with old Geard now that he has his heart back. I wonder I wonder what would have happened with that relationship if he never his heart never turned to stone if Odim was never a thing, you know? Makes me really wonder. And Vladimir, friends, Vladimir, I think out of everybody in this DLC was probably my favorite character in the DLC. I wish we had more time with Vlad. That quest was probably my second favorite for sure. I had so much fun on that quest. It's just different levels. Like that quest was so amazing. I had such a great time with that quest. But the other quest with Iris was just amazing on different levels of mysteriousness. And it felt just a lot more. And then of course Shani was really great. I really would have loved a, not for me personally, but I wonder if we actually didn't romance anybody going into this. If you're, say, if you really love Shani, there's some of you guys, girls out there that probably love Shani, you know? Probably want a full force relationship with Geralt and Shani. Ship the Shani and Geralt relationship, yes. But for me, like, I still love Yen, and I wouldn't have picked Shani over Yen in general. But I'm just saying, it would have been very awesome if... Say we didn't romance anybody going into this. And obviously, as a blind standpoint, you won't know if Shani's in there. But maybe on another playthrough, you're like, well, I want to try to romance Shani fully. And that would be really cool. They took the romance with Shani to the next level if you don't actively romance somebody. Because that that would just be really cool. Unless she's just a side thing. Because to me, at I guess at the point of the the, the way it felt, Shani was very much a side character that Geralt can just dally with. Kind of like Kira Metz. Kira Metz was just, we kind of had sex and that was it. Shani, we... And I had sex and then that was it. The same thing. It does make me wonder. So, just the beginning of the DLC, friends. From the beginning to the end. With the whole frog prince. Seeing Shani in the sewers. Then doing 
the freaking the wedding and then of course the the auction house stuff was really good i did enjoy the auction house stuff too but if i had to pick the least favorite that would probably be the one but that being said none of the quests in this dlc were bad by any means all the quests in this dlc were on par with the best quests in the base game so i'm thinking with the auction house stuff though i feel like it just i guess it was a little less memorable characters in that compared to the other quest but it was still really cool it was just it was really cool to see Geralt doing some shit like that as a witcher you know him we should probably take this time though and head over to the room right so we do it all on camera is there a quicker way to get out of here though it would be nice if there was a fast travel point here actually let's do ourselves a favor and just look around let's look around let's see if there's anything that can be picked up did you see odim coming out the fucking sky he loves his he loves showing off man he definitely does this dlc it introduces a lot of good stuff the whole question mark stuff friends you know that's always been some of my favorite things to do and i was just so happy to do question marks again i know ultimate side oh shit ultimate side mission episodes it is what it is it's just my place though it has to happen but i just really was looking forward to it i know there was many things in this dlc that i was looking forward to but ultimately i was really hoping there was a lot of exploring to be had together because in skellige we didn't get a chance to actively shit we didn't really get a chance to actively explore together you know we just didn't. I did all the question marks in the ocean literally off camera. There was like one or two that had stories. Maybe not even that. But it was just nice to do that again. Now, I am hoping that the next DLC will bring more question marks, obviously. And I want some more of them explanation points. I don't think this DLC had any explanation points tailored to it in general. I think the one that we stumbled on, the Dora one, was base game stuff. That would be really cool if it does incorporate a bit more. Benic? What is this one? Let's go to Tauros because them fucking... What are they called? There's a bunch of devourers over there. I'm going to kill them. Anyways, I've been saying it though, but wow, really great, really awesome DLC. I think it, this DLC was probably better than... I just really hate to say it because... I'm not one to say anything negative about anything. I always try to look at the brighter side of everything. But, and what I'm saying is not going to be negative. This DLC was better than some other game's main stories. And that's crazy to me. Like, CD Projekt Red is probably, like I've been saying, they have to be the kings and queens of RPGs, friends. Oh, if they're not going to fight, I'm not going to fight them. See you later. Have a good one. It was really good. I'm always going to remember master mirror and that song is gonna be stuck in my head forever oh my word that scary ass master mirror song it's creepy man i can't believe we actually was able to steal them orins and stuff in there in that cave that was so cool we seen shiny in there that sucker fucking scared me i actually thought it was really shiny because i wouldn't put it past him actually stopping time getting shiny and throwing or wherever the hell we were i wonder what was that was it in our mind then was that in our mind? Or did he actually take us to a place? Well, because that was the Von Everick estate there, I think, right? Possibly. Hey, man. The world's never-ending creation be paid. I missed you. I missed you very much. Yeah, we need to enhance our gear. Craft something for me, would you? Good stuff, friends. Very, very good stuff. So, let's see. We can do... We can't do severance. We need Zoria. Vels and Perrin. Zoria, Vales, and Perrin. Just the basic ones. There's basic Zoria. 900. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, the effort. This guy's still taking our money. There's Vales. It's such a shitty rune, though. It, you know, it's like only 3%. And Perrin. We're looking for Perrin, right? This motherfucker. Maybe. Wait. 
Perrin, are you here? Is it Perrin? Oh, right here. Oh my word. Hey man, I need you to craft me some awesome things. Remove upgrade, no, just enchanting, here it is. Iris, we got something for you. We got some severance for you. Enchant it. Come on. Go ahead and enchant it. There it is. Iris is looking sweet. I'm so happy we got like a relic. We are not using Witcher gear. It's so Thanks. weird. So long. Look at it though, man. I can't wait to knock someone out with that. I'm gonna wait until we actually get into um until we actually get into the Blood and Wine DLC. Like I said, the Blood and Wine DLC is next. I am really sad, friends. I know. Um, this DLC was actually kind of short. I thought it would take me a good deal. I was thinking on the lines of 30 videos, probably, with the way we take our time and just try to breathe in everything that the game has to offer. And I'm hoping that the Blood and Wine will take a good many months because that's our last story together, man. It's going to be so sad to see The Witcher go because it's been like, like I said, it's just really been like a part of my life this whole year. And I'm really going to miss it. I'm just so happy we do have one more story to be to be had with Geralt. And from what I'm hearing is that a lot of people are saying that The Blood and Wine is possibly the best DLC ever made. There was a lot of great talk about this DLC too. Going into these DLCs, I knew nothing. But just the hype of how good these DLCs are. And it was really great of a DLC. I'm really going to miss it. I'm going to miss some of the characters. I really want to see Vlad again, damn it. I want to see Shani again. I want to see everybody again. Oh, Geard, I would like to see him again too. Of course, I want to see Odim again. I want to see them all again. But just an interesting DLC. It's so good. It feels like Geralt is taking the time before the novels here. Like we're doing stuff before the novels. You know how there were short stories before the novels and the books? This is kind of what it feels like. It feels like literally we are in a short story, but I can't believe... I don't remember the name of... What is it? Toussaint? Well, where is it at? Here, the Duchy of Toussaint. It's on the map. That's obviously where blood and wine is. A vassal duchy of Nilfgaard, widely considered a beautiful fable-like land where everyone is internally tipsy because we've been everywhere else and we have not been here and i'm pretty sure that's where we're going obviously and i cannot wait to see that as i've been saying this dlc was one epic tale of Geralt. it's just sad to see it and i wish it was a bit longer i want to see more stuff on odim damn it wow friends i'm just ecstatic that we had a chance to see more of Geralt's story and the Heart of Stone, it did not disappoint whatsoever. Nothing about this DLC was bad. I am so happy they actually upped the difficulty in it, too. Everything felt a bit harder. Way more than base game. I hope in Blood and Wine does the same thing. I do want to thank you all for being here and the love and support on the Heart of Stone. Thank you for being here for the base game. Witcher 2, Witcher 1, everyone that's stuck with me since the beginning. I really do appreciate it. Next time we are back in The Witcher, we will be doing the Blood and Wine DLC. So whenever we come back with next episode, we will jump right into it and start it. But thank you all so much for being here and exploring the world of the Witcher with me. And I will see you all in the blood and wine. Take it easy out there, my friends. Stay safe.